Carl Meyer presents the improved high performance weft insertion system EMS. The working width of the Rachel machine ranges from 130 up to 213 inches. The production speed depends on the fabric quality to be produced and reaches 1,400 revolutions per minute. That means a weft insertion capacity of 6,400 meters per minute without damaging the weft. By means of the new weft carriage, 24 threads are inserted simultaneously, thus achieving an average take-up speed of 260 meters per minute. Due to the clip system, the salvage waste represents only 2.28% with 213 inches. The weft carriage runs on the left machine salvage into the gripper. Those close up to hold the yarn and descend to the cutting device. Meanwhile, the clips have opened and the yarns have been threaded in. Once the yarns are in position, they are cut. At that moment, the weft carriage moves to the right. Having arrived in this position, the yarns are inserted. At the same time, on the left side, the gripper with the yarn is moving down. Again, the clips take up the yarn. Only after this process, the yarn ends are released. The process is repeated at full production speed of 60 times per minute. The procedure presented can only be carried out by means of a high performance servo drive. At this stage, you can see the servo motor carrying out the following functions via toothed belt accelerating and braking the weft carriage, stopping for the insertion process, and again the reverse sequence, accelerating and braking. These functions are carried out extremely accurately. In order to meet the general requirements in terms of width flexibility during warp knitting, the shog line of the weft carriage can be set continuously via keyboard. The handling is very easy. At this speed level, the weft is fed from the creel to the weft insertion system via the preset wrapping devices. In spite of a yarn consumption volume fluctuating between 0 and 260 meters per minute, by means of the preset wrapping device, a constant take-up speed from the package can be achieved. As you can see now, the circulating clip chain is transporting the threads to the knitting elements. The blue box, the optical yarn supervisor, stops the machine once a thread is missing. Now you can see the actual knitting process steps. The weft is inserted in the stitch during underlapping. Once the weft is firmly interlaced, it is cut. The yarn ends, still held by the clips, are subsequently removed. You can read on the display the different production parameters. As for example, the current production speed. In the present case, it is displaying 1400 revolutions per minute. Also, the yard run-in values of the electronic EBA beam drives are displayed as nominal and actual values. The computer also has a production data storage function and is equipped with the adequate interface. The electronic beam drive element of the ground threads. The EBA shown now is driving the filler thread delivery unit. Absolutely uniform filler thread feeding is indispensable for warp knitting. This is the reason why breaking of each beam is done individually. Now you can see the individual steps for the production of a fabric serving as basic carrier 
for a vast diversity of coding applications. Another application field of the EMS weft insertion technique is secondary carpet backing. The color sequence of the pillar stitch whales is the essential factor for the final carpet quality. Interlining is used as semi-technical textile, providing unique drape and good processing properties. The weft insertion technique is used in the following textile sectors, outerware, decorative fabrics, both plain and raised, and curtains. The EMS weft insertion machine meets the latest CE standards and forms an important part of the Karl Meyer warp knitting machine range. As a result of the innovative spirit and close cooperation with the worldwide textile industry, Karl Meyer machines have proved themselves reliable and technically advanced.